all right shalom first and foremost want to give all praises and all glory to yahweh ba shimi our shai and i give double honors to the apostles of great millstone that do rule well salutations to the men of the whole plan since i elect this mark is from a trend that come just want to do a little edification for the elect's sake and the name of this lesson will be when the going gets tough will you abandon him all right so in the sense of you know like enjoying martial law or even you know the the, the time of jacob's trouble you know you might not you might not have anything to eat you might not have anything to drink you might have trouble on every side as the scripture said and as the scripture also said you have no sure resting place so things things will look will look will look hard it will look dim but really and truly there is a time of faith there is a time the lord really gonna test put our faith to the test because um wisdom of solomon where he said i said um let me, let me find it real quick um Um, boom, 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 boom. This is Wisdom of Solomon, chapter 2, um, verse 17. It says, let us see if his, I said of verse 16. It says, we are esteemed of him as counterfeits. He abstained from our ways as from filthiness. He pronounced the end of the just to be blessed and make it his boast that Yahweh Bashmi is his father. So these wicked men, they're talking about the righteous. They're talking about what the righteous men boast. So when we outside on the street, we say that Yahweh Bashmi is our God. He come in to deliver us and he will have mercy on us and he will feed us, as the scripture said, and clothe us and give us drink. All right? Verse 17, it says, Let us see if his words be true and let us prove. What shall happen in the end of him? It says, For if the just man be the son of Yahweh Hashem Yahushai, he will help him and deliver him from the hand of his enemies. So now, if you're boasting that Yahweh Hashem Yahushai is your God, Lord, he's going to put it to the test in that day to see if you really sincere about your love for him. Alright? If you really sincere about the faith that you profess that you have towards him and his son. All right, so some of us gonna have it hard in that time. Some brothers gonna have it easy. Some brothers gonna have it hard. When I say some brothers gonna have it easy, it means that as the scripture says, some of us gonna be put to death. All right, and some some not. All right, so each brother's estate will be different. So when the going gets tough, what would you do? Would you, would you still have faith in your Haba Hashem All right, let's go to the scriptures. It's Luke eighteen verse seven, and shall not. Yahweh Hashem shall avenge his own elect, which cry day and night unto him, though he be along with them. I tell you that he will avenge them speedily. Nevertheless, when the Son of Man cometh, shall he find faith on earth? So will the Lord find faith on earth when he comes? Because it's gonna be a time, a time of of, of great evil, a time of sorrow. All right, people are gonna be crying and mourning. All right. Jeremiah chapter 9 verse 20 says, Teach your daughters wailing and lamentation, for death is coming to our windows. The scripture said, The slain of the Lord shall be many. So in that time, a lot of people are going to be dead. Jeremiah 16 and 2 said, de- and going on to verse 4, it says, Hey, your, 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 your carcass going to be on the ground like, like, like dung. So you're going to have a lot of people on the earth that died. Whether from the sword, whether from, you know, animals killing them because the animals are going to be hungry. Whether from the famine, from thirst, diseases. Because all those dead bodies going to cause a rise in diseases. Alright? But when you realize that the, that the, that to, well, to you it might seem that, you know, the Lord taking long to come and deliver you. What would you do? What would be your mindset when you have to go a week without eating? Your wife crying, your children crying. What are you going to do? Will you lose faith or will you hold on to it? This is Ezekiel chapter 8. Um, 
verse 12 it says then said he unto me son of man has thou seen what the ancients of the house of israel do in the dark every man in his chambers of his imagery for they say yahweh ba shemi ashai see it us not yahweh had forsaken the earth so these men said yahweh ba shemi ashai forsaken the earth and went to worship idols they forsook the lord so with you when you see all the death and all the, the, the horrors that are going around, would you yourself say the Lord had forsaken you and then say it, it, um, it was better for me to keep worshipping Jesus or Allah or, or, or Selassie? Would you go back to what you was doing? Would you forsake the Lord and forsake his, his testimonies and his commandments and do evil? Would you go eat pork, go eat some abominable flesh? Would, would you forget to abstain as the scripture said that I'd use abstinence? What would you do in that time? Would you holy fit or would you deny him? Because that is the time the Lord, Yahaba Shimei Asha, really gonna pour our faith to the test. Right now, we exercising our faith so that in that time we would we would know how to execute our faith. We would know how to, to holy fit. Because the Lord been proving us all these times. We've been going through boot camp for all the years that we bring the truth and the real test. Is the time of Jacob's trouble. So in that time, would you falter? Would you stand strong? Would you run and leave the flock? Or would you stand there and bear arms with the flock? What would you do? This is Matthew chapter 13, verse 20. It says, But he that received the seed in a stone in stony places. The same is he that heareth the word and anon with joy receiveth it. Yet he had not root in himself, but dureth for a while. For when tribulation and persecution arise because of the word, by and by he was offended. Alright? So you have men that gonna that you know they come up here, yeah, Yahaba Shimia Shai, they love this word, they love the Akiam, guess what? But when the going gets tough, they're gonna deny the Lord. The scripture said, brother shall betray one run to death. They, they, they might sell you out. All right? Would, would you maintain your integrity in that time? This is what we have to do. We have no choice but to maintain our integrity. We can't deny the faith. We can't deny Yahaba Shemi al We have to hold strong. We have to hold strong. The scripture said, I'll read it real quick. This is the book of Romans chapter 15 verse 4 for whatsoever things were written aforetime were written for our learning that we through patience and comfort of the scriptures might have hope we might have hope we ought to have hope that is why the things that was written in the scriptures they were written for us to learn and to do all right this is um ecclesiasticus chapter 2 verse 12 Woe be to the fearful hearts and the faint hands and the sinner that goeth both ways. Woe unto him that is faint hearted, for he believe not, therefore he shall not be defended. You wouldn't be defended if you lose faith in the Lord. Woe be unto him that have lost patience, that say, you know what, fuck that. The Lord is feeding me, let me go and feed myself and my family. There goes a fat pig, let's kill and eat. It says, and what shall you do when the Lord shall visit you? It says, says they that fear Yahweh Hashem Yahusha will not disobey his words and they that love him will keep his ways so you have to keep the ways of the Lord don't lose faith don't lose hope in it when you're being tried all right Yahweh Shai said men shall not live by bread alone but by every word of the Lord Yahweh Hashem Yahusha that man live don't deny the faith all right don't go both ways don't 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 lose faith in it when you're being tempted when you're being tested my bad when you're being tested don't lose faith all right stand strong all right don't lose faith in the lord because the scripture said he never saw the righteous begging bread all right if you faithful the scripture said in, in hebrews 6 10 the lord is not unfaithful to forget the labor of love that you showed towards his name so just hold on to the faith and the lord the lord have your back but he's just testing your faith to see if you're really or not for him that is all the lord doing so exercise your faith right now and don't lose it right this is the final precept here this is um bell and the dragon chapter one 
the start here. All right, so now this with when um Daniel was thrown into the lion's den and the angel of the Lord took Habakkuk to, to carry the food for him. This is verse 37. It says, And Habakkuk cried, saying, Oh Daniel, Daniel, take and you know what I'm gonna read high up. Um this is verse 29. So they came to the king and said, Deliver us, Daniel, or else we will destroy thee and thy house. Now when the king saw that they pressed him so, being constrained, he delivered Daniel unto him, who cast him into the lion's den where he was six days. So Daniel was in the lion's den six days. All right, he didn't have no food, no drink, nothing. And Habakkuk cried, saying, O Daniel, Daniel, take the dinner which Yahweh Bashim Yashai sent thee. And Daniel said, Thou hast remembered me, O Yahweh, neither hast thou forsaken me and see, that seek thee and love thee. What was written at 410 was written for our learning. The Lord didn't forsake Daniel because Daniel kept the faith. First, he delivered him from the mouth of the lions twice. And now Daniel not been having food. The Lord sent Habakkuk to feed him. So Daniel didn't know where he was getting food from. But he was praying unto the Lord and the Lord sent food for him. So you don't know where food is going to come from. The Lord sent ravens to feed his, um, Elijah. So you just, just hold on. Just hold on to the faith. And the Lord will defend you. All right? The Lord will defend you. The Lord will have your back. So don't lose that faith. When you go and get stuff, don't deny him. All right? So with that, I want to give all praises, honor and glory to Yahaba Hashim Yahushai. I want to give double honors to the apostles of Great Millstone that do rule well. Salutations to the men of the whole friends in Salek. This is your brother Makaza from the Trend.com saying Shalom Wama. Stay strong.